really getting into cooking, you know, a lot. So cooking meals and, and not wasting anything. So everything gets, to, no, no food gets thrown away. Everything gets turned into something in some way. My impatience, my uh, uh, learning about that, yeah, I'm really impatient. My, uh, there, there's a lot of sadness that I have on, on many issues. Um, uh, and learning how to accept things within myself and with others and patience with others and forgiveness and letting go of resentment, all that. Um, this is uh, you know, I'm wearing this t-shirt today. It says, can you see it? It says courage. Oh yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> so, you know, the courage to change. And mm. that's, that's, you know, that's, you know, a, a, a spiritual aspect in life of, of the courage the, to change. And, and, um, and which is, I think that we all need right now. Mm. Well, I think what we're seeing is how a uh, human being is humanity. I mean, they're like, it's extraordinary how many people are coming together and helping others, even when we, have so what is every, everybody I know making gloves, making, making masks, sending them um, to people. We're seeing community come together. Our communities coming together and in a, in a true, uh, you know, brother and sisterhood as this is over i don't think this is ever going to be over i think that that we are never as the world is never going to be the same after this america will never be the same after this we're not going back to the old ways we can't we can't as human beings we can't go back to the way it was we're seeing you know in the background but i think the entertainment industry i think streaming will be the new way i just remember you know as as we had uh streaming for music it's happening with movies and television um the, the the i know the academy of motion pictures and arts uh, just changed it so there will be um you know films that we that premiere um on streaming and we'll watch them that way and they will be eligible to you know be voted in for for oscars apparently and um i think that's starting to happen slowly but surely and you know I, I love seeing a movie in a movie theater, and I'm sure a lot of too, but do you feel safe? There's no coherent leadership. It's uh, chaotic. Uh, the uh, presidency, the White House, is in the hands of a sociopathic megalomaniac who's interested in nothing but his own power, electoral prospects, uh, doesn't care what happens to the country, to the world. It's, uh, one thing after another, it's total chaos. So state among his voting base, there are lots of people who don't like international organizations, think we, we're on top, we should be by ourselves, uh, nobody tells us anything. So it's, you know, it's, it's good to pick up some votes from these sectors if you uh, defund and maybe move on to disband the WHO. Of course, it has consequences. WHO is providing services. Uh, there are people all over Africa who rely on the World Health Organization for protection from disease, multiple diseases. Now, of course, with the virus, it would be even worse. So, okay, let the government. As soon as Trump came in, his first move was to dismantle the entire pandemic pre prevention machinery and to start defunding the Center for Disease Control, which would deal with this, and canceling programs that were working with Chinese scientists to identify potential viruses. So the US was singularly unprepared. That's been going on. Now, the United States is at the bottom of the barrel. The, the administration simply wouldn't listen. US intelligence was bombarding the White House through January and February, uh, saying there's a serious pandemic coming. We've got to do something. Couldn't get through. Uh, Trump only looks at his TV ratings and the stock market, which he thinks is important for his election. Well, fine. We can't afford it. Uh, maybe 70% of the population, something roughly like that, that just gets by from one week to the next.
one paycheck to the next paycheck. Anything goes wrong, they don't have anything. The United States doesn't have uh, as very weak unemployment insurance as compared to other countries. That doesn't have daycare facilities. Uh, nothing's there. It's a privatized society. Very wealthy, enormous advantages, far more than any other country. But it's in the stranglehold of private control, uh, the ultimate neoliberal system. Actually, you bear in mind that severe as this pandemic is, it's not our worst problem. There will be recovery from the pandemic at severe cost. But there isn't going to be any recovery from the melting of the polar ice caps and the rising of sea level and the other deleterious effects of uh, global warming. Uh, latest uh, concentrated private power and wealth is not easy to dislodge. And they have their own agenda and are working for it relentlessly. So the question is how these contending forces will emerge. That'll determine the fate of the world. Uh, control systems are developing. It's not inevitable, just as global warming isn't inevitable. But if it's going to happen, unless people stop it, you can see the tendencies that are underway, and you can see the powerful forces that are behind them, want to extend them. All visible, it's not secret. And we can either let it happen or stop it. Yeah. The thing the, during a period of threat, uh, there's controls that are needed. Like during wartime, uh, you have uh, rationing. But it doesn't have to be per permanent. You can it can be controlled, it can be under public control. You can say, uh, 